This is a 2017 Porsche Macan GTS. And my name is Caden James. Welcome to this week's review. Like I said, we're going to be reviewing the 2017 Porsche Macan GTS. We're going to be started on the exterior of the vehicle. Then we're going to go on to the interior. And trust me, the interior is amazing. But then we're going to take it on a ride and show you how it drives. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Porsche has done a great job styling this vehicle. It is one of the probably the nicest small SUVs on the market today at a really reasonable price. Oh, this Macan is finished in a really nice black. You can see in the sun, it sparkles really nice. I like how it doesn't have any swirls on it. Unlike my SRT, there are swirls everywhere. So as we go down to the rims, we have a 10 spoke, you know, multi spoke. The spokes have spokes and then the spokes have spokes. But anyways, we have red calipers and a nice big brake on front. As we go to the side, you can see the GTS logo. So as we move to the back, you can see we have some chrome finishes here. But other than that for chrome, all we have is black badges, you know, tinted tail lights. Everything's blacked out on this vehicle, except for that little chrome piece, which I, I don't know why they would leave that chrome. I'm sure there's some packages that cost like $10,000 to black out the rest of the chrome. But anyways, that looks really good. I love the all black, the black on black now, look. At the front of the Porsche Macan GTS, you can really see they paid a lot of attention uh, it's a detail. They have a lot of vents at the front. They're actually functional vents. They're not those cheap fake vents. Porsche is engineered to perfection, so I expect nothing but the best. We got some more vents at the bottom, and then we come and see the iconic Porsche badge. Now you probably noticed the four exhaust pipes, the quad tips. Not only do they look great, but they sound great. Take a listen. If you notice there, you can actually shut the exhaust on and off when we get to the interior. I'll show you all of those features. But yeah, sounds really good. You can really hear the turbo. So now we're gonna move on to the interior of the Porsche Macan GTS. Before we start, check out this seat decal. They're nice. But before we move to the interior, I wanna say thank you to Alberta Honda for lending me yet another beautiful vehicle. They lent me that Range Rover in the previous video and now they've been generous enough to lend me this vehicle. So thank you to them. This is currently for sale. Go check out Alberta Honda and you can see their entire selection of used and new vehicles that carry a very broad selection. New Hondas, used Hondas, new luxury vehicles or used luxury vehicles, they have it. Go see them. Porsche makes some of the best vehicles in the world so you already know that this interior is already going to be perfect we have this beautiful porsche steering wheel you have your controls here it's also really sporty you have some cutouts we have the paddles on the back here then we have all these controls right on the center so we have let's go through them here so we have heated seats obviously sport mode suspension you can lower the vehicle it has a air suspension trash control off but then we have off-road mode tell me would you off-road your Porsche Macan GTS? Let me know down in the comments below. Then we have, I assume this is lane control. You can actually change the exhaust, just like I was telling you that you heard in the back. And then we also have the auto off button. So that's pretty much, you know, when you come to a stoplight, the car will shut off to improve fuel efficiency. You know, the main point is they've set this up really well. You have all your controls here and you have an amazing touchscreen. It's super quick, engineered to perfection, just like you would expect from Porsche. As we move to the side, you have some really nice finishes all around, all high quality finishes. You're not gonna get any of that cheap stuff like they put in Maseratis and such. You also have this beautiful red stitching across the whole vehicle. Now just stepping outside of the vehicle and looking in, you can see we have these amazing uh, Porsche bucket seats. We have the GTS logo on top, but they really hold you in place when you put that in sport mode. Really nice seats in the back. We also have the GTS logos on both seats and these beautiful red seat belts to really match the stitching. So now 
I'm going to put it in sport mode and see if you can hear the difference in the exhaust from inside the vehicle. Let me know down in the comments if you guys can hear it. So this is with it off. Now we're gonna turn it on. So I can kind of notice that from inside the vehicle, but let me know down in the comments if you can notice that on camera. So well now, let's go for a drive. Great success. Safety first. So we're gonna start off in regular mode, then we're gonna put it into sport mode. And I'm gonna give you all the feedback and what I think of this Porsche Macan GTS. This Macan, like the way it sits, it honestly feels like a sports car. You don't even feel like you're actually in an SUV. I really like the feel because you get the best of both worlds. The only Porsche I have driven, other than this one, is the, I think it was a 2008 a 911 Turbo. And man, that thing flies. Actually, I think I started it in sport mode. Okay, we're gonna do the review in sport mode. No one cares about the, the comfort of the GTS. You get a GTS because you want it to be fast and fun. You get the S if you want a nice, comfortable, quiet SUV. This thing's meant to be driven. It's not instant power, but when that turbo kicks in, wow, do you feel the power. And it revs really high. I'm not even in automatic mode and it's just revving like crazy high. Okay, there we go, it downshifted. That power is nice. It's not instant, but when that turbo just kicks in and launches you forward, you better be ready. What I love about this seven speed automatic uh, transmission is the shifts, they shift so quick. Like even when I'm not even in sport mode or manual mode, it just automatically downshifts for me and you get those crackles and pops, it sounds amazing. So, this Porsche weighs approximately 4,500 pounds, which isn't light. You know, it is a, a heavier SUV, but it's a smaller SUV. But the way it corners and handles, I mean, it's a Porsche. Like I said before, engineered to perfection. Oh, let's turn the AC on. Oh, the AC is just that much nicer when it's in a Porsche. So I hope you can catch that on camera, but the little down shifts when you're coming to a stop light or coming to a stop really sound good. From the stock exhaust and stock engine, you also get the turbo whistles and I love it. You really hear all the parts of the car working. Should I put it in manual mode? Should I use the paddle shifters? Paddle shifters engaged. Sounds good. Sounds really good. You know, it's not crazy loud. Again, it is a turboed six cylinder, so it's not gonna be the loudest, but it sure sounds sharp. So, as you probably know, I reviewed the 2016, 2016 or 2017 Range Rover Sport Supercharged V8. Now, comparing this to that Range Rover, this Porsche Macan, honestly, this Macan, you know, it's kind of in a different playing field. This is more of a, a sporty car as opposed to a full-size luxury SUV. Tell me what you think in the comments. Would you rather take a Porsche Macan GTX or would you rather take a, a Range Rover V8 Sport Supercharged? Let me know down below. This thing is definitely sharper when it comes to handling, let's see. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would say as fast. 
and the quality of the vehicle and the interior, second to none, almost unbeatable. If you haven't already, go toss a follow to my Instagram. It's KadenJLG. I'll link it down below, but make sure you go follow me on there. So that's going to do it for the 2017, 2017, 2017 Porsche Macan GTS review. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.